What up folks, it's Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, how are you all doing? If you've watched any of my YouTube videos, you'll have probably spotted some titles like this, effects and overlays like this, and backgrounds like this one, all of which are from Motion VFX. I've personally been using Motion VFX plugins in my videos since they first started making them for DaVinci Resolve almost two years ago. So when they reached out and asked if I wanted to pick my five favorite packs so that I could bundle them up and offer them to you with a discount, of course, I said yes. So here they are. Here's my five favorite DaVinci Resolve plugins from Motion VFX. And we're gonna kick things off with MKBHD. This is a really funky plugin. It has a really nice selection of just over 50 different elements. There's intros, features, which are titles for displaying important information, tools and effects like picture in picture and split screens, calls to action, titles, lower thirds, backgrounds, and transitions. Now I really like this one, mainly just due to the aesthetic. The design fits me perfectly and I just really like the style. I also love red and black. It's kind of my go-to color combo. You'll often see me wearing my red and black shirt. And of course there's my logo, which is generally either red and black or red and white. Of course, if that doesn't work for you, you can change the colors if you want to, because all of the Motion VFX plugins are super quick and easy to customize. On the edit page within DaVinci Resolve, if we just jump into the effects library, head down to titles, open Motion VFX, you can see all of the Motion VFX plugins which I have used in the past. There's loads in there. If we shoot down to MKBHD, we've got things like features, titles, calls to action, and backgrounds. So if we open backgrounds, grab a background, drop it straight onto our timeline, and that's it, you're done, it's ready to go. You can of course give it a click, open up the inspector, toggle the ins and outs, change all the different background colors, and amend the grain and glow if you need to. There's some handy pointers within the tool section, and then there's some really nice titles. This one I actually used throughout my entire DaVinci Resolve 18.6 release video to announce all of the different features. It was super quick and easy to set up once, then I just copied it across the timeline using my favorite Alt keyboard shortcut, amending the text as required, and job done. Under effects, there's even more presets to pick from, including zooms, animated letterbox, split screen, and MKBHD additional footage, which is the one I used literally just a second or two ago to show you my 18.6 release video. Simple. Next up, we have M Title Restyle. This one is a little bit different. It's a really impactful typography title plugin containing 65 different presets. It is mostly titles, but it does also contain some add-ons, backgrounds, descriptions, and overlay effects as well. Now, I really like this one. I probably don't use it quite as much as the MKBHD one, but the titles are really interesting, well-designed, unique, and just really impactful. There's corrosion, stained, halftone, colorful, and probably my personal favorite, broken. I'll often combine the M title restyle glass overlay effect, which of course is also included with that broken title and then a crunchy ice sound effect to create this unique title screen, which you may have seen in some of my previous videos. It's a pretty cool plugin for jazzing up and adding some impact to your videos. Next up, something totally different and that's M documentary. Now, of course, I don't generally make documentaries, but this is a surprisingly versatile and varied plugin that's just really creative and really well designed. Take this super cool tape background, for example. You can customize the text and even change the tape rotation speeds. Not something I'd use often, but it's really cool, really well designed, and I'm gonna try and shoehorn it into one of my videos at some point. Then there's these movement effects, which not only add some nice, simple movements to your shots like pans and zooms, but also include depth of field effects, vignettes, and these nice layered particles, which all combine to add a real nice feeling of depth to your shots. All of which though, can of course be customized or disabled if required. And then there's these really clever freeze frame effects, which aren't quite as simple as drag and drop. You do need to create a freeze frame and then jump into fusion, but they don't take too long. And when they're done, they look really, really cool. My entire advice for new editors video I made recently contained nothing but M documentary overlays, effects, 
titles and transitions. And I'm actually planning on making more of that style of video and will continue to use the M documentary plugin for them because it just fits the style, the feeling and the aesthetic that I'm going for really, really well. Next up, M Keynote. This is pretty different once again. This one is for those that love that clean, minimalist Apple style look. I tend to use this one when I just need to display a lot of information on screen at once in a nice tidy format. Like when I'm doing my DaVinci Resolve update videos, but I have also used this one on some client edits as well. It's also a particularly big one, this, with over 100 presets. The animated infographics are particularly nice if you need to convey some facts and figures. And then there's these funky placeholders, which are kind of like interesting takes on split screen effects. You've got multiple different drop zones, so you can have five, six different images or video on screen at once. They're all nicely animated and easy to set up. So they just look pretty cool. And then if you want to keep it simple, there's this really simple background blur effect, which I use all the time to simply blur the background so I can make my text or title on screen pop. It's got a nice clean aesthetic with loads of different presets to pick from. So that's why I added the M Keynote plugin as well. And last but not least, we have M Channel Clean. This one is particularly great for you YouTubers out there that want a selection of intros, social media callouts, titles, backgrounds, overlays, transitions for your YouTube channel, but want something that's a little cleaner, a little tidier, a little more stylish than the usual bubbly red YouTube kind of style. This one has got a real clean geometric aesthetic with lots of sharp edges, clean whites and greys. If I'm honest, it's actually a little too cool for me half the time because I'm far goofier and silly than this plugin. But you know, it's a cool plugin, so I had to include it. If I'm stuck for a simple title or a lower third, I usually find myself jumping into this M channel clean. There's a handful which I always go to, drop them on the timeline and job done, I'm ready to go. So there you go, they're my picks. My five favorite motion VFX plugins which are available for DaVinci Resolve right now. Check the link in the description. You'll be taken to my landing page, which has got my big face all over it. And if you buy two or more of these packs together, you'll get 15% off. And if you buy all five together, you'll get a massive 30% off. But hey, check it out. Let me know your thoughts and feelings down in the comment section below. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.